After the COVID-19 pandemic, Africa set itself the goal to locally develop and manufacture 60% of vaccines needed to combat pandemics by 2040. The Department of Science, Technology and Innovation has told the Convention that the Vaccine Innovation Manufacturing Strategy, or VIMS in short, will be guarding interventions to encourage local manufacture of vaccines. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, over 20 vaccine manufacturers have been established in Africa. Currently, we have 23 vaccine manufacturing companies at different stages. Nine of the 23 manufacturers have installed capacities and they're either technology transferring or ready to technology transfer for vaccine manufacturing on the continent. Three of uh, three of the nine manufacturers have done their technology transfer and ready to manufacture vaccines at scale in the coming three to five years. Dr. Ntlantla Somi from the University of KwaZulu-Natal and President of BioAfrica says currently South Africa is importing vaccines that it pioneered 30 years ago. You have to target the ones that we were able to do in the past whose IP costs are low um, such as the whole killed and the like. And that the argument that we have to use the cutting edge technologies no longer holds. It is not backed by any evidence. It is important to adopt newer technologies such as the mRNA, such as the VLP even for preparedness. But it's also important to always consider that the pace from which we're operating is limited. Zimande says such a strategy is necessary to prepare African countries for future pandemics. As you may recall, South Africa, like much of the developing world, found itself at the mercy of grossly inhumane, selfish, and outright immoral actions by governments of most industrialized countries, monopolizing and controlling the flow of life-saving therapeutics and vaccines during that pandemic. The department says it is confident that in a few decades, the country's vaccine strategy will bear fruit. I'm Nantlani Pumagwaza for SABC News in Durban.